Amazon eliminates the bottom 10% of the employees every year. If you don't know how to jumpstart your career, you're doomed. Add people who are fired after two months into the new job. Who could be a potential ally who you need to continue to build a relationship with. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, Director of Product from DrNancyLee.com. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to become a product manager, you should subscribe and check out this new video every Wednesday. As a Director of Product, I have hired, fired, and also promoted lots of product managers in the past. So today, let me share with you the secret of starting a successful product management career. First of all, I want you to understand that in order to succeed in your product management career, you need to master the eight product management skills before you even get started. So I recommend you guys check out this video where I describe all those eight skills in details. Now let's talk about how we design your 30, 60, and 90 days into your new job. Step one, you need to design your career roadmap. You need to ask yourself, What's your long-term goal? Do you want to become the CEO of your own company? Do you want to become the chief product officer at Google, Facebook, or you want to lead a big product management team? You need to set your North Star goal of your entire career. So therefore we design a career roadmap first for you. And then you reverse calculate to figure out what you need to do every year, what you need to accomplish so that you can get into your final destination. Once you laid out your exact career roadmaps, now you need to break it down what you need to do in the 60 day, 30 day and 90 day plan. If you want to learn how to design your career paths from individual contributor as entry PM all the way to the CEO of a company, you should check out this video where I lay out the specific plans for you guys as well. Step two is to break down your short term plan into four categories. They are stakeholder management, product strategy, customer and industry knowledge. Let me break it down for you. We start from who are the stakeholders who you need to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. They are your peers, they're also your bosses, could also be people who are under you as well. You need to lay out their responsibilities, how they're going to work with you. The second part is product strategy, which means what's the value proposition of your product, who are the different kind of competitors and out there, what's on your product roadmap as well. Number three, we talk about the customers, what's the customer segmentation, what's the pain point, how to reach out to your customers. Number four is your industry knowledge. Every product manager is responsible for product in a certain industry, so you learn those knowledge as well. If you do not have all the experience in the categories I talk about, no worries, you can check out this free webinar where I talk about how could you land a product manager job even if you don't have prior product management experience. In your first 30 days, let's lay out exactly what you need to do. You need to identify all the possible stakeholders you need to work with. They could be engineers, data scientists, designers, could also be other departments such as GTM team, or could be sales teams or customer success teams. You need to have a coffee chat with each individual leaders or individual contributors in those teams as soon as possible within the first 30 days of your job. And ask them those kind of questions. How can I help you to achieve your goal? How can we work together? In this way, you're going to start to build allies as soon as you join this company. You should also start to work on your industry knowledge immediately. For example, you become a product manager in the banking industry. You should immediately look into what the different kind of banking sectors, how do you do payment, what the security challenges they're facing. And you need to identify who in those domain can help you to gain those knowledge and have a coffee chat with them and start learning immediately. And on top of that, you should also search and look out other outside resources, any kind of paid courses or free articles that teach you to dive deeper into this unique banking industry as well. And on top of that, I recommend all of you guys to lay out the org chart of your organization within the 30 days so you know who could be a potential ally who you need to continue to build a relationship with. You also need to sit down with your engineering team to understand the architecture diagram of your existing product. When you try to build relationship with new people in your company, especially for people who are more senior than you, you need to get ready to use a 30 seconds elevator pitch to introduce yourself. So I recommend all of you guys to check out this video where I talk about the perfect 30 seconds elevator pitch. If you like any of the tips I shared with you, please make sure you hit the like button and comment down below and let me know what does your first 30 day look like. Now let's talk about your first 60 days. In the first 60 days, you should start looking into your customer segmentations, understand their pain points and their needs. If you're brand new into the company, into a brand new job, I would look into the customer interview process immediately, start talking to your customers. 
I recommend all of my students, you at least need to talk to 20 customers so that you get to know who are they and what specific needs they are and put them into different customer segmentation. If you are into a team, they already have an existing product, you're hired to improve the product. I will do this immediately. I will look into the old customer interview report to really look into what the customers need, what's the existing pain point, and then start to collect data by working with your data scientist team to understand, okay, so how did they use the current product? So therefore you can start to think about how would you help your customer to further advance their journey in the company. In your first 90 days is when we need to establish your leadership presence within the team. That's when you need to show your product strategy and also think about who are the competitors and how do we reach out to customers, what's the best go-to-market strategies to approach your customers and what's the value proposition of your product and then you design your roadmap. But using this opportunity to show that you have a quick win and also show that you know what you're talking about in a short amount of time. Make sure when you design your 30, 60, and 90 days plan, you always need to keep people in mind because we are being perceived as the CEO of product. There's so many different complicated relationships and politics within the company. You need to start watching all those people relationships while designing the product strategy as well. If you want to learn the most effective way to land a product manager job and also the behind the scenes secret, how could you advance in your career and continue to advance into a direct product, you can subscribe to my newsletter where I share with you the secret behind the scenes, how does it look like to continue to advance your career as a direct product or hopefully you can become your own CEO as well. If you like any of the content, please make sure to smash the like button so that I have the motivation to make more organic videos. And I'm going to see you next time. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Bye.